Hi guys, good to have you all back. I am finally doing a Julie's project that she did uh, this week. She made a one sheet wonder accordion flip folio thing. I don't know. It was cute. It was really, really nice. Um, I always watch Julie's channel because the woman is talented and hilarious. I love her so much. Uh, but this one especially caught my eye because she made it from this sheet of Tim Holtz wallflower. Paper. Now, if you've seen my uh, recent thrift haul from this Sunday, if not, I'm going to link it below, guys. Um, you've seen me pick this up. Yes, I picked up a half of a Tim Holtz um, paper pad that are very expensive. And also, you cannot buy them anymore because he doesn't make them anymore. I have 12 complete sheets. Yes, that are not being cut in. And then six of them... Uh, had something cut out yeah like well still very very usable it's not even a scrap i do not call this a scrap so i found this one in a thrift shop guess what i paid for it uh, i can tell you i was screaming when i found it i paid 75 cents <laughs> i don't know if you know how how expensive tim holtz paper packs are but they're a little bit more expensive than 75 cents so um i have this sheet and so i was like yes and now i know what to do with it and i was really excited however i also realized that you all all of you have seen that video and i'm going to do, be doing basically well sort of the same and that's going to be two of the same videos. So I decided against it. So I'm, I'm very sorry, guys, if you were waiting for me to use this paper. I'm going to do the, the sort of the tutorial that she made, but with different papers. So let me show you the paper that I am using. I'm using uh, the 49er Market Vintage Artistry Nature Study. I'm sorry, artistry is a very difficult word for me. This has been waiting for me to do something with. Yes, I've had this in my stash for, you know, a couple of weeks now. And it's way too beautiful not to use. So uh, I am a rebel. I am going to use, uh, for one, different paper. And also I'm going to use a different size. Julie told us you can make it from 6 by 6 You can make it from 8 by 8 I'm going to make it from 6 by 8 I think, I think that'll work. Yes, so I'm going to be a complete rebel. So, um, yes, that's what I'm using. I'm going to show you the supplies, guys, uh, that I am using. You don't need a lot of those. You just need glue and scissors. That's basically it. So, for the paper bit, bits, I am using this 6x8 pack. Yes. Now, I, I know I can use this because um, there are papers in here that are portrait straight up and there are papers in here that are landscape where are those yes landscape so you need if you're going to do this guys a six by eight make them from either non-directional paper or from papers that are landscape yes landscape that is important otherwise it would just look funny so i'm going to use um four sheets of six by eight Three of them need to be landscape. One of them can be whatever you want. Whatever you want. For for decorating, I want to use uh, some other stuff from this collection, of course. Uh, it has all these beautiful uh, fussy cuts. Yes, I have the one with the, uh, let's say, foliage and mushrooms. Love mushrooms. Everyone's do doing Christmas in July um, at the moment. I don't even like Christmas in December, <laughs> let alone in July. I am doing fall. I'm doing fall in July. Why not? Uh, I have a gazillion robins. These are fantastic. I love it. So I'm going to use robins as well. You need a piece of um, washi tape. Now this set this did not come with the normal washi tapes. It did come with the washi tape stickers, but we need normal washi tape. So I'm using the previous one. That's the tranquility. Yeah, I think there's one in here. Uh, or even with the butterflies. That will go very well. So a piece of washi tape. I probably add some more of my own bits and bobs. Like labels, post stamps, what have you. So um, that's it for the paper bits. Now for the, for the tools. Let me grab it real quick. Yes, there we go. Uh, I'm going to use um, glue. 
I'm going to use Barely Art because that's what Julie used. She had a lot of trouble with her pin. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm probably going to need some scissors. You always need some scissors. I'm going to use a, a circle punch because I want to make notches. I'm going to use my corner round because I cannot do without a bone folder for folding. Now, um, I have my scoreboard out, a small one. Probably don't even need it just because we have to fold stuff in and yeah so you probably won't even need this i'm going to be inking my color of choice is most likely vintage photo but i might switch it out i don't know maybe maybe we're gonna go red burlap and uh a paper trimmer to cut some pieces to size if necessary yeah is that it oh well, yeah that's basically it what is that you don't need you don't need this you don't need this you don't need a paper trimmer. You don't need a scoreboard. You don't need these papers, guys. No. Use any paper that you like. Have it 6x6, six 8x8, by six, eight by eight, or 6x8. Six now, if you're going to do 6x6, six six, what I will do, guys, I am going to link um, Julie's video, the original one, below. Yes? Well, go watch it because it's very, very fun. Um, and also, uh, I have a tip for you if you want to make it even more fun put on the subtitles <laughs> uh this morning very early i had to watch a piece of it again i was like what did she do uh, uh i couldn't really remember so i had to uh watch the start but uh tim my husband was still sleeping so i just put the sound off and the subtitles on while well, he woke up anyway because i was laughing out loud <laughs> the the translation that uh youtube does on her videos is fantastic it's fantastic it's not anything that she is saying i can understand you completely julie but watch your own videos with subtitles you'll have a big laugh promise me because i have seen every sort of uh combination possible for tim holtz tim bolts tim holtz what <laughs> It was it was such fun. Okay, guys, um, enough with me babbling. I'm going to start uh, the project. Yes, there we go. Okay, this paper pack comes with uh, nine different designs and then three of each. So, oh, it's a lot. And I know four of them are landscape. Now, guys, let me, um, if you don't know what landscape is, landscape is when it's like this way. Yes. And portrait. Do I have a portrait? And portrait is when it goes that away yeah so straight up or across um i need four sheets i know three of them for, for this side uh, size need to be landscape so uh let's just have a look i love this one for sure so i'm gonna do this one this landscape one this is actually the same one but then portrait i love this one so one and two and uh the butterfly the yellow do we want the yellow what's on the other side it doesn't matter what's on the other side love the yellow yellow yes and this one now for the one that uh, that we're going to use to make flap flippy floppy thing thingies with uh, and pockets i don't know yet i don't know yet guys but i, I need to start with these for, so for the last one i'm just going to figure it out later i just took all the nine designs and see what i'm going to use okay we have three three of them yes some bits we are going to cover up other bits we're not going to cover up um because this is going to be sort of in the middle glued on i really want to keep this bit i really want to keep this bit so well job well done tada yes here are the three sheets and now we just need to fold them if you have six by six eight by eight eight by eight just fold them in in half yes guys it's going to be the same principle if you're going to use other other sizes it's going to be fine only the end result the, the end product will be a different size but that's okay uh have the nice sort of design on the top yes this is going to be on the inside it's a nice design i really like this stuff but have the ni nice design on the outside and fold them in half this is very heavy paper i can tell you i think this is even heavier than the tim holtz paper 
Here's one. Here's two. I don't actually know how much. Uh, well, this is over 200 grams for sure. Yes. And the third one. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, pretty. You're not going to see any of it. Well, are you? Oh, yeah, maybe a bit. I don't even know, guys. I had to watch it again this morning. It's very, very easy. Um, but, you know, my brain just wants to do other stuff at the moment. So, yeah, we have three of them all folded in. So, this is going to be the size of my end product, which is four, because it was eight, uh, by six, because it was six. So, Julie's ones are six by three, and mine are um six by four yeah and it's going to be fine so we have three lovely pieces folded in half yes um what am i gonna do what was she doing yes uh i'm gonna flip them over yeah because this is needs needs to be glued here oh that works out perfectly because i loved this i love this and that's okay that's okay so Okay, this middle part here, yeah, are these are going to be pockets. Does it make any sense? See, these are going to be pockets. So it needs a notch on the top. That is too small. I'm going to take out a bigger one. I want a bigger notch for this one. I'm going to do both of them at the same time. So they're in, in the exact same spot. Sure. Always eyeballing this, guys. Uh, I can tell you that went straight into my shirt. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Now before we glue this on, we're going to ink. Are we doing vintage? Yes, we're doing vintage photo. Of course, why not? Why not? There we go. So inking all around this. I love this paper. It's really, really cute. But I don't think this is sort of the best paper to fold on because it is cracking it is cracking it's not really made for these sort of projects um i think this is more for like uh, making something on or cutting it out to be a card or or what have you but i don't mind it i really don't mind it guys uh because we're gonna ink it and it's gonna look great see i don't really care no, this is just fine. So, this needs to be glued onto this spot. And this needs to be glued onto this spot. Before I do this, I also want to ink here, of course. Because, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Okay, we are gluing on three sides. Here, here, and here. Yes. But we need to be very careful that they really line up. Otherwise, because it needs to be sort of folded, yeah? So, be very, very careful how you do this. Also thinking, I'm also going to do some inking here in advance. Doing this afterwards will probably be a little bit tricky. Stop flipping it around, woman. <laughs> I'm doing a Julie um, because it's going to be confusing for all the ladies at home. There you go. Yes. Oh, I love this. This is lovely. Okay. Now for gluing. It's easy, guys. It's easy. I'm using this. Don't put glue here. Put the smallest uh, strip of glue because we also uh, want to put stuff in. Julie, I have the same problem as you love. Yes. Um, that's because I haven't used it for a couple of days. And then it just, you know, doesn't want to play anymore. Small strip of glue. Just realized I also need to have to make some cards to go inside. Uh, well, I might use some of the of this paper pack. Why not? Because they're lovely. Okay, so this needs to be glued on here. 
probably going to do it a little bit different than Julie did. I'm just going to line this up. Yes. And then fold it in. Yes. Well, there you go. Yeah. Now this needs to be glued here. Yeah. So I'm going to do some inking. There we go. Because after we glued it down, we cannot reach that spot anymore. Well, see? Oh, that's, that's lovely. <laughs> Didn't even sort of realize. Well, it looks fine. Okay. Um, putting glue here, here, and here. Again, on these three sides. You could also put glue here and here. I'm just going to do it here. Doesn't really matter a lot. On the bottom. Oops. Well, mine are going to be not so deep. I couldn't see the fold. The fold's here. I was following this line. No, that's not the fold, love. Okay. Um, needs to be glued here. There we go. Now, I'm hoping I did it right. I think so. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to watch the video again. Yes. See? Ta-da. Two pockets. Love sort of the inside. Yeah. So, this is the front. You open it up. We're going to do something lovely here. We're going to do something lovely here. Then you flip it over. Something lovely here. We're going to have flip floppy thingies here. And then this is the back. But you can also do this. Ta-da. Yes, uh, what Julie did was put uh, writing paper on it. We don't need to because look at this, guys. Just writing spots, writing spots. So we're not going to do that. No. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to have this as the front, though. Yeah. Fantastic. Guys, what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to round corners. Am I rounding corners? Am I? I'm not. Not? No, I'm not. I'm going to ink all around it. All around the other edges that we didn't ink yet. Yes. I'll be right back. Now, I need to go pick out a fourth sheet. It doesn't need to be landscape. It can be portrait. We are going to cover up the lovely butterfly because there's going to be a pocket on the front. Yes. A pocket here. And then a flippy thingy here. I'm going to sort of astray uh, because I think I want to have the pocket here and then a flippy thingy here. Perhaps because I really love this image and I don't want to put a pocket on here. And I think the pocket will work better here. But let's just find out. Okay. Um, these sheets of paper are lovely. I could make a pocket from this one and then have the exact same butterfly on. But I also, guys, want to use the rub-ons. Yeah. Um, but the backs are more sort of neutral-ish. So I think I want actually want to use the back to make um, a pocket and then some put some beautiful rub-ons labels what have you on uh, hopefully there's a beautiful there's probably is there a butterfly in here somewhere i'm hoping for a butterfly yes i have the butterfly yay so i'm using this sheet i might cheat a little bit and take out another sheet to make some more pockets yeah okay um where am i gonna cut it i'm gonna leave this intact and I'm going to cut it, well, in half. Because that's what Julie did. This is eight. I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm going to cut it at four. At four. There you go. Keeping this for now. Yes. That's a big pocket. We don't need it to be this big. No, we don't. So I'm, I'm going to do my own thing, guys. I'm sorry. Because I wanted to have it yay big. Yeah. Oh, I'm even going to do this, of course. Yeah. Um, What am I doing? Four. So I'm going to make it three and a half. Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Yes. See? A little bit smaller. 
and then a lot shorter. I'm gonna eyeball it, guys. Let's say three. And here's probably uh, where I need to think about it because the measurements are now completely different to what Julie did. But I'm okay with this. Yes. So this is going to be my pocket. However, on this one, I am rounding corners. Are you making a notch? Sure. So it's going to be a little bit different. See, big pocket, gonna decorate it. Yeah, okay, so this one's gonna go here. Then I have two of these. I'm gonna use this for sure. Um, I'm gonna switch it. This is gonna go here and this one is gonna go here. Oh yeah. It's upside down. Don't mind. <laughs> and I'm going to put this one here. But it needs to be smaller. Yuli said something very beautiful. She said, there's no right or wrong. There's just different. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing different. Also, guys, not a tutorial. Julie has a tutorial. This is just a... Uh, Craft along with me. Yes. I'm going to put this here. This was going to go in the back. Over here. Yeah. Don't know what I'm doing with this one. But it's going to be lovely. Okay. Inking it and gluing it. Vintage photo. For sure there's going to be a butterfly on here. Because I'm a little bit sad that I needed to cover it up. Look at all the lovely mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, don't look at the back, love. Don't look at the back. Not looking at the back. See, Julie, I had my pin in. It's it's not you. It's also not me. It's never me, of course, now. It's the glue. There we go. Just a small pocket. Bye, butterfly. Yes, and then the one in the back. That we're also inking. I could round a corners here. I'm not going to. It's also okay, guys, that this is upside down. It doesn't really bother me. I could do this, but I like this way better. This is a deeper pocket. There you go. We're going to do lots of decorating on here, so it'll be fine. Okay. Yes, this, this could do something. Well, I have all these lovely die cuts, yeah? I'm going to do something with die cuts and some rub-ons and such. Uh, but I really need to try the flippy floppy pocket thingy. I have this piece. But guys, I have to be honest. I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. I have the same problem you as you did, Julie. I just, you know, I know sort of the principle, but... Um, I want to make it as you did. So I'm going to quickly have a look at the video again. Yeah. And then I'll be back and we're going to make a flippy pocket thingy. Okay. Had a quick look. Uh, I remember now. Yes. Because she made gussets. I do believe they are called gussets, uh, Julie. Uh, but well, if you don't know, I certainly don't know. So one, this is six inches. One piece needs to be a little bit wider than the other one because we need to make some folds to have some gussets. Now, Julie did it uh, three and a quarter. I uh, don't want to um, worry myself with having it um, too small. So I'm going to go three and a half. So one piece of this is three and a half, which will leave the other one to be um, two and a half. Yes, so this is actually going to be the width of the small pocket. 
Now, for this, you're going to need a scoreboard. Unless you're really, really good with folding and such. Yeah. So, um, we made it half an inch bigger than this one. Which means I'm going to make scores that are a quarter inch um, bigger. Yeah. Uh, well, smaller. So, I'm going to score it here at quarter inch. Yes. Flipping it over and doing it again. Yes. So, these are going to be the gussets now i'm hoping this works because already mentioned this paper really does not want to be uh, folded and scored but it's gonna because i'm gonna make it it's very heavy paper i looked at the paper uh, pack guys i couldn't find um uh, any weight on it but at least 250 grams maybe even more it's very heavy yeah so and then this should not fit on here what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Tell me, Julie. What did I do wrong? Well, all sorts. She did all sorts wrong. I don't know. But well, let's do this again. One more time with feeling. It just needs to be bigger. Yeah. Okay, her measurements were right after all. I did it wrong. Uh, so I'm going to score at <laughs> half an inch. <laughs> Really? What did I do wrong? My brain today. I am sorry, guys. I am so happy this is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. This is a watch me do it wrong. Yeah. Watch Julie's video. Okay. There you go. Well, I am hoping I did it right this time. Why? What's my... I don't know. It's early morning, guys. I need lunch. I need lunch. Will it fit now? Yes, it will. Normally, I, I'd explain by now what i did wrong and and you know why but I don't, I don't know i don't know okay yeah see then we have a bigger sort of opening also this is way too tall now um yeah so i need to cut a piece off but first i'm going to glue it down uh score it a little bit better there you go yes This needs to be glued on. Before I glue it on, I'm going to ink this. And I need to ink it again because this is going to be on. But I've also seen this is the tiniest bit smaller. So you will see a little bit. Well, just ink it, love. Ink it. Of course, I'm going to cut a little bit off the top and not from the lovely bottom. So I am not inking the top yet. Oh, we do have the butterfly on here now. That's great. Um, yeah. I'm going to put um, glue here. Are you? No, I'm going to put glue here. Definitely. Gluing the flap of the gusset thingy. That should have been quarter inch. Yeah. Right side up. Right side up. That would have been so me to glue it upside down. Yeah. There you go. See, it's a completely different size. Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to ink that part. Or cut it down. I'm going to cut it down. See, it's just sticking out. Maybe you don't even see it. The tiniest bit. Okay, it is too tall. Yes. See, it's sticking out. So, I'm going to take off about half an inch. I'm going to eyeball this, guys. Ooh. He didn't like it. Yes, I can imagine because... Lots and lots of layers. Um, notchy in here. For this, I need my smaller one because this is very small. Oh, yes, it's a simple project. Yes, Julie did a simple project. Well, it is. But I'm just, you know, again, guys. <laughs> just wants to be in my shirt. Great. Perfect. Now, she said, put a little bit of glue here. Why didn't we do this in advance? I don't know. Julie said, put a bit of glue there. 
because we're also going to put on some tape yes we need to somehow somewhere put tape on yeah oh it does look lovely do you want this on the front the butterfly i think so yes that makes more sense with all the butterflies so yeah gonna have this one on and for this i'm using uh wow i think the butterfly tape for sure isn't that too small i think it's too small so i'm gonna do this also has some butterflies on now let's see if this will work for me uh you need the piece that's you know yay high and uh you also need to have it um half of it here and half of it not here I, you've done this before i love come on i'm just gonna cut a piece off do i have season oh you have this i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna do this for now just you know because why do it the easy way when you can do it the hard way i am actually rubbish at this eyeballing the half i'm going to sort of gauge where the bottom of the butterfly is. That's not half of it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. However, guys, I know me. So I'm just going to add. I wanted to add some glue. But, you know, it's not you, no, it's not you Julie. No, the pin was in. Will this look okay? Okay, we're going to fold it over. Put this up almost against the line here. I'm going to leave a tiny bit of room. Yes. Oh, we need to make it shorter. It's too long. It's too long, love. It's too long. Can we do this carefully? Because I do not want to cut the other piece of paper. No, it'll be fine. You guys are probably all having a laugh. Look at what she's doing. Well, yes. She's doing a rubbish job. I can tell you it wasn't the teacher. No, it's it's just me. It's just me. Okay. Uh, well, we need some more tape. I could have managed it with this. For sure. I'm just going to cut the piece off. There you go. Shorter. I'm gonna trust the, the tape on this. I'm not gonna bother myself with glue. Yes, so. Burnish it well, she said. I'm gonna burnish it well, love. But it does work. Look, yes. See, I can make it work. <laughs> Just takes me a little while. Yes, yeah, so we have a flippy thing here, pocket here, pocket there. Yeah, let's do some um, let's do some decorating. And uh, Julie also did some tucks somewhere. I might use this to do uh, maybe a tuck somewhere. I don't know because I have a piece left. And uh, why waste it? Just use it. I just decided to make a, the smallest sort of tuck here. Yeah because why waste it okay let's do some decorating um shall we start in the middle or shall we start on the on the on here yeah we could um i want to make use of these die cuts that i otherwise wouldn't use and i was thinking to even do one of these small what is it branches twigs careful of careful 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 can we take it out without it sort of completely breaking that'll be lovely thank you work with me yeah but it, it has to be stuck somewhere so carefully remove it do not break the last piece no I was thinking to sort of have it um, stick out like so, will that sort of work? Hmm. Or should we put this 
Oh, I'm going to put that over there for sure. Okay, I'm going to use you later, little twig. Um, but we also have lovely mushrooms. And there are lots of mushrooms on here. Maybe this one. Does this fit on the pocket? Oh, yes. Yes, it'd be lovely. But I also want to have something on the back. Now, I have lots and lots and lots of Robons. Um, somewhere. Hello, Robons. Where's you at, lobbies? Here they are. Uh, not this, of course. I want to have some... See, some of these backgrounds. Not this, of course. Not this. No, no. Uh, you were going to have the butterfly here. Oh, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do the butterfly. Ooh, however. No, because I want to have the mushroom on. And I want to have some of this in the back. Yeah? This? Yes, this. For this, I will need scissors. Is it too tall? That's okay. You don't need to have everything on. Just going to leave some bits. going to cut these pieces off here and use them somewhere else because then it will sort of fit yeah and then use this somewhere else okay uh you want to watch me rub something on <laughs> These are actually the sticks that um, come with these drop-ons. So I'm hoping I'm doing it right this time. Let's just see. You just need to press a little bit harder here and there, love. Yes, well, this is coming along nicely. Tiny bit here. But it's on. And it's lovely. Oh, it is. You don't feel it, guys. You don't feel it. Honestly, you don't. Now, um, where's my mushroom? <laughs> here it is. Here's the mushroom. And I, I need a label. I need a label, guys. There are not any labels in here. However, there are these that are in here. But I'm not going to use it on here. So I'm going to take out the label. I think I'm going to go Michelle. Uh, why not? Because, you know, I've been fuzzy cutting. Look at my box. Just love my box. Uh, and I think the, the colors go really, really well with this one. Uh, do we need a small one or a little bit bigger one? Don't spend an hour looking through your labels, love. Just pick one. See? One. No, I'm, it needs to be. Uh, have a little bit more color. It needs to stand out a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. I am inking everything. Oh, I love it. Inking this. I'm inking the mushroom. I could never do such a precise fussy cut. I really like these fussy cuts from 49 and Market. Yes, I couldn't do a better job myself with scissors. And also, um, I just don't like uh, borders around my fussy cuts. I, I, I just don't like it. Is it cute? Does it need anything else? Does it need a one more thing? It needs one more thing. Um, small butterfly. Hmm. Or a brownie thing. Just, just stuff that's brown. 
I've already seen a little bit of the next release, which is a, uh, one of the Spectrum release again with lots of bright colors and such. I am not sure that is going to be my thing, so I don't know if I'm going to have a play with it. I will, however, uh, when it comes out and it is available, uh, show it to you guys what it's all about. But I think it's going to be a little bit too, too bright for me. For my taste. Okay, so this is gonna go on here, and it also needs it needs a card. I'm gonna do all the decorating first, guys, and then I'm gonna do the the cards. Yes, and I just needed a this. Remind yourself to take off the backing. First time ever I've used uh, rub-ons. These were not the expensive ones, just cheap rub-ons. I just put the whole piece on and then, you know, then you rub it on this. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah, I might look smart, but I am not. Just a little piece here. In this corner. Did it take? Almost. Yes, it just added a little bit of color. See? Yeah, and there's going to be a large um, tag inside here. Nice, lovely card. There you go. Okay. Next piece. Uh, does it need any decorating? A little bit. Uh, I want to have a label on here, but I need to have... I, I think the, the sort of decorating with this behind it is lovely. It's lovely, right? Let's do a little bit of the green. Yeah, just add a little bit of green. Also need some green here. What is that, that we have here? Just... Uh, oh, let's do this piece. Let's do this piece. <coughs> Yeah, oh, lovely. For label, um, let's see. We need a smaller one. You put all your smaller ones in here, love. I know, I know, I know. I want to have this on here. Already seen this. Yeah, I'm going to have this on here. And then... Don't go looking for labels. This on here. However, I am going to try to round these corners. <clears throat> this is just a me thing. There are rounded corners on the inside and then square on the outside. It, it makes me sleep. I, I can't sleep at night. <laughs> they need to be the same. Same with these. Yeah? If it's snipped here, it needs to... I don't know. It's a me thing. See, to me, this just looks better. It just looks better. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to put this on here. This on here. It needs... I want more of these sort of dots. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to do the whole bit. Yeah. So this is going to go on here. Is it? No, I just need this bit. That's okay. I'm going to use this somewhere else. So, here and here. Here and here. Yeah. I'm going to rub these on, guys. Okay. They're on. I love them. Did I mention I love them? I am done with Bart for today. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, Art is uh, doing a better job. Um, let's see. Let's see. See? Yes. There you go. Art. We're gonna put something else here, guys. Um, on the roll of the washi stickers, there's one sticker on there, and and luckily there are a lot of them on there. They have bulb clips. Uh, bulb clips? Are they called bulb? I don't know. Well, clips. 
and I just I just love them. <laughs> But they have a little bit of, uh, because it's a washi sticker, a little bit of uh, white around them. So I'm, I'm just going to fussy cut them. Try to. To remove a little bit more of the white edge. It's probably going to be some left, but let's try to minimize it. Go. Yeah, but then we need to <laughs> get the sticker off. That's the thing, you know. I love these. They should do um, uh, this in a Robon form. I'm just going to put this on there, like as if it was sort of clipped on there. Isn't that cute? I just like this, just like this. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here, guys. So I'm going to uh, do this pocket first. I really wanted to use the big butterfly. So I'm going to put it on the pocket on the, the back page. Yeah. And a label. Now, normally I put the label over it. But I was thinking maybe we could do it sort of like so. Will that work? I'm going to try it. I'm just going to try it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Just do it. There we go. Here's one. Also have this piece left. So I was thinking to put this. Just you know. Why waste it? So I'm going to put this on the top. On the top corner here. And then I'm going to put a butterfly over it. Now I'm hoping it will work. Because it does have a little bit of a. Uh, a height difference. I've never tried it like this, so let's just see. Well, this is also height different, and it does sort of work. I don't know. Let's just find out. Let's find out. Oh, well, you're gonna cover this up. That's okay. They told me you could layer these. So that's what we're doing. I am, however, really going to do this on these corners because it probably is going to need it. There we go. Yeah. Now I've already seen the time, guys. I have like about 10 more minutes. Uh, so I want to do some more decorating and I want to make the cards now. I am just going to uh, take out the papers and make the cards. Just cut them to size. You don't need to see me cut papers to size, lovies. No, that's not interesting at all. Did I just sort of ruin it com completely? Oh, probably did. See here. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Poor little butterfly, I cracked your wing here. But that's okay, because it still looks great. It still looks great, absolutely does. Okay, uh, where do we need to have more decorating? On the back here, but for this, I actually really want to use these uh, large die cuts. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get some of the dies cut, these dies cut, get die cuts out. And then uh, place them, yeah. So here's what I came up with, guys. I really want to have this twig over here. And then I'm going to put a label there. Yes, a label and some mushroom die cuts here. I'm going to use this butterfly. Now, uh, oh, it's already stuck. Don't be stuck. Well, it's going to be stuck there. Um, to me, uh, these are more butterflies. I hardly ever use it like half a butterfly or, you know, profile of a butterfly. But I'm going to use it. And then I have this big label here. Small twig. And one of the washi tape. Washi stickers. However. I cannot fuzzy cut this. But I do not want to show the white. If I look at this color. It looks like tea dye. Right? Yeah. Looks like tea dye. So. I'm just going to put tea dye on it. And then hoping. Hoping. Let's take a piece of paper out. 
um, that it will sort of blend in in the background. Because that's what you can do. I think it will. I think it will. Okay. So this goes on on top. Now, normally what I do with labels. Labels, they need to touch something. They don't. But in my mind, they need to touch something. You know, not just a paper underneath, but another element. So I'm being daring. It's not touching anything. Will this work? Of course, because, you know, this is art and art makes small lines. Um, it's not flimsy paper and I, I really appreciate this because if this was just uh, from thinner paper, it wouldn't work at all. I actually probably need tweezers for this, but they're not here at the moment. Oh, they are touching. Look at that. Phew. Well, I can sleep now because it's touching. You moved it. You moved it. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, love. It's going to be fine. There you go. Okay. Then we need this one. Inked everything in advance. Not a big label. These are from Michelle's at Young Journal Studio, guys. These are labels. Days gone by. Love them. Absolutely love them. Of course, she made them for me. You can use them as well. <laughs> I asked her, can you make these in other colors? She's like, sure. So I'm hoping she will. Yeah. Oh, that is lovely. I'm going to do this later, guys. It's going to be there, but then less shiny. Mm, this one. Okie dokie. And then the sticker. Will that work? Sort of the trick that I had in mind. See that? It's almost like a rub on now. Yeah, that's because the background is a little bit um, this color. Yeah, and then this one. Again. My hands are shaking. You know what that means? I need food. And you need tweezers. I don't have tweezers at the moment. I don't have the time to get out my tweezers. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Yes, I love this. Just put a small twig on. Yeah, really cute. So I'm going to do a rub on here. I did a little bit more decorating on the inside, guys. I put a butterfly rub on here and then a big rub on underneath and I have a, another label on. That actually says Ayuntamiento Barcelona. Uh, yes, I do speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, guys. I know a couple of words. I know Ayuntamiento is a city hall. Uh, uh, if Unless I'm mistaken. But I believe it is city hall. Okay. Um, everything is decorated nicely. I cut out all the cards, guys. I made them a little bit smaller than the pockets were, of course. And then I have some scraps left over. Um, on one of the pieces of the paper were these sort of die cuts. Now, this was on here, this was on here, and uh, these tickets. I'm going to use the tickets for uh, making tabs. For making tabs. But first, I want to do the big ones. These are for the big pockets. One here, one here. I'm going to make a big tab with my lovely tab punch using my scraps. Uh, this needs to be folded. What? What are, are we using this? I think we're using this. Yeah. Hopefully these are big enough. I think so. I believe so. They don't want to be folded. They don't like it. Uh oh. Are they big enough? Are they though? Do we need to make them single? Yes. I need a post-it to put it in between. Oh no. I'll manage. Oh, it's actually lovely with the writing on here. Okay, there you go. Ta-da! Please come out, piece of paper. Yeah, so here's one. Where are the scraps? 
think I want to make one with this on here. Yes. There's a piece of paper here. Go away. Go away. It does not want to go away. I don't have the time for this piece of paper. No, there you go. Another one of those. Okay. Uh, where do we want it on? Because this then needs to be here. Otherwise, it will be the same paper. This needs to go here. And then this goes here. Or I also love this. There we go. Have I mentioned how much I love this sponge? I love this sponge so much. There you go. Yes. Okay. This goes here. This goes here. And then this one goes here. I'm going to ink all of them. I probably put something on it. Let's see if we can put something on it. I have some small butterflies and bugs, and I think they'll look fantastic. So, uh, does, it, does this fit? Well, these do. Oh, a little bee. A little bee. So, I'm going to do this butterfly for sure. Yeah. Don't cut the butterfly. Yeah, so this is going to be on. One of these. Cute. Yes. And then this one. Yes. And the last one, the B. It's going to be on this one, right? So it needs to sort of match. Hmm. Do we have more very tiny ones? No. Maybe the green one, but it's all the way in the middle. Well, and then it's all the way in the middle. Yes. Just maneuver it. Maneuver. There you go. Around here and then here. It'll be fine, love. There you go. Yes. So, I'm going to put these on. Yeah, and this one is going to have this as a tab um i'm gonna fold it i'm gonna fold it in even though i already know it does not really want to be folded in <laughs> but i'm going to do anyway yes then it needs a little bit more inking on the top yeah uh i want this to be the right setup oh, love it love it love it and then oh, well, also this one On the small card for the small pocket yeah but this needs to be glued on a little bit further down because it cannot stick out a lot otherwise it would stick out Maybe. yeah okay i'm gonna rub it on and glue it on they're all done now let's just put them away and look at the end result uh what was i having on the front this one this lovely one yeah so this card is gonna go in the front and also, I decided to put another one in here. This one. That's a wonderful image. Will it fit? Of course it will. Yes. So two cards on the front. And then you open it up. Um, I decided to put this lovely card. The butterflies. Well, these are butterflies and these are moths. Yeah, okay. Oh, night butterflies. Uh, I could decorate here. I was thinking about it. I'm not going to do it, guys. No, because this is already lovely. Yeah. Uh, you could journal on the back on all of these cards. Yeah. Because they have sort of a well, blank space that you can do anything with. Or decorate a little bit more. Or... I rounded all the corners on the cards. Uh, first off, I really like that. <laughs> yeah. And also, um, if you want to put it in big pockets, they slide in a little bit more easy. Yeah. In my opinion. 
Okay, I'm gonna have this one here. And let's see. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Yes, I'm gonna have it stick out because because of lovely. And then this one here. Oh, that I didn't even sort of uh, see what I was doing, but that worked out pretty well with the colors. See, yeah. Lovely. See the, the this sort of paper does not really want to be folded, but that's okay. We're just gonna grunge it up. And then this one in the back. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. And then you have this. You can do more decorating or, you know, just journal on it. It's an endless sort of flip thingy. Absolutely love it. And now we just went over an hour. So be it, guys. So be it. It's Friday. You don't have anything else to do. Yes. <laughs> it's the weekend. Relax. This is it, guys. Uh, I made two of the small cards in the front. Love the pocket. Absolutely adore it. Then you open it up. You have a small card here with a tuck. Yes. Flippy flappy thingy. That I had a lot of trouble with. <laughs> you could um, put... I could have put another decorating. But that's that's okay. And then with a lovely card. See, I made this a little bit shorter. So it wouldn't stick out. These are sticking out. However, I don't mind, guys. I really like that we accidentally match this up <laughs> yeah um, and then the, on the other side on um the city hall of barcelona barcelona one of the most well i have not been all over the world but barcelona is in my opinion one of the most beautiful cities in the entire world yes and another card the big butterfly it did crack when i put it on probably because there was a little bit of height difference here but i don't mind it because it's more vintagey looking now Maybe it was because I don't feel it. Maybe it was in the sort of design. I don't, I can't remember anymore, guys. And then we're at the back, which is also again the front because you can flip it and flip it. Love this. If you want to, you can do some journaling on here. Guys, I'm going to get a lot of questions. What do you do with it? You enjoy it. Put it in a pocket in a journal, send it out as happy mail as a gift or, or what have you. Yeah. Just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. See, it almost, this looks like another Robon. It isn't. I just um, put uh, tea dye all over the sticker because the background was sort of the same color. And then it disappears. And we're back at the front. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I did for a couple of di different reasons. I watched Julie's uh, video this week. Uh, that's always enjoyable. And then I had to re-watch it this morning. Uh, with the subtitles on, yes. Uh, have the subtitles in your own, uh, not in your own language, in English. Otherwise, you wouldn't get the joke. Now, Julie, love, I am not laughing at you. I am just laughing at the YouTube subtitle machine because it couldn't keep up with you, and it started making up its own words. <laughs> and it was, it was hilarious. So go watch it. Now, um. A big thank you to Julie for this idea. I'm going to share with you something I have not. I don't think I have ever shared this on my channel before about Julie. She has a special place in my heart. Uh, when I just started out my channel a couple of weeks in, I got well a nasty comment involving Julie, and it really shook me up. I was upset. I was, um, I was really upset. So the only thing I could do was contact Julie and try to explain what had happened. And she is just the nicest, guys. She reassured me. She told me, don't worry about it. Same thing happened to me. There's always going to be people that want to be nasty. Just ignore them. Do what you do, love. Um, I don't think I ever told you, Julie. But if it wasn't for you who just reassured me, I would not have had my channel. I think I was ready to throw in the towel. So we all owe you a big thank you. Yes, because I wouldn't be here uh, if it wasn't for you. Thank you, Julie. I really love you. We all do. So, guys, it's the weekend. Have a lovely Saturday. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, I'll be back again on Sunday uh, with another video uh, because I found some treasures. <laughs> if you're not into treasure hunting, guys, I'll be back again on Monday with a lovely project. So enjoy yourself and I'll see you then. Bye guys.